Hello, and welcome to this special series on the roles and opportunities for pharmacists in diabetes care. I'm your host, Kirsten Yell, the Research Manager of the Association of Diabetes Care and Education Specialists. Pharmacists can play a key role in helping to care for and educate people with diabetes, yet many don't feel comfortable in this position or don't know how expensive it can actually be. Joining us today is Jerry Meese, a longtime pharmacist and diabetes care and education specialist out of Texas. Jerry is well known in the diabetes world, serving in many national roles and is a frequent speaker. He is a longtime proponent of pharmacists becoming involved in diabetes care, and we're excited to talk more with him about some key diabetes topics as they relate to pharmacists. Jerry, welcome back. Hey, thanks for having me again. We are so pleased, as always, to have you. And, you know, one thing you and I have talked about a lot is this pandemic, and it feels like we're finally climbing out of this pandemic, but there's still all this controversy about, you know, people wearing masks, social distancing, um, gatherings. So what are your thoughts on this? Well, I think, you know, we're all worn out and tired of COVID, uh, but it's, it hasn't gone away and it's going to be around still for a very long time. It's important for pharmacists to make sure during these changes that they deliver a scientifically driven evidence-based knowledge about COVID uh, and dispel all the myths that are out there that, that are going around and, and that go with it. I would point uh, our viewers to a certain page uh, under ADCES. It's, it's, if you go to diabeseducator.org forward slash COVID-19, uh, you can get a, a good up-to-date list of evidence-based resources and even a lot of telehealth guidance in that, uh, in that page. So look that up and I go back and refer to it on a regular basis because these, these are updated and this is something that we can all work from. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a good one-stop shop, I yeah. think, for COVID-19. I know it's been a great resource for me, too, throughout this whole pandemic. You know, what advice would you give to someone with diabetes walking into your clinic right now about COVID-19? And I get this question uh, more often than, than not. Uh, you know, I have diabetes. Uh, what what are, is my situation versus COVID? And even ADA says people with diabetes are no more at risk to getting COVID than the general population. But what really is of concern is what happens when they do get COVID, when and if. And so what I go over and over uh, with our people with diabetes is do everything you can to maintain optimal health. Of course, we say that all the time, but there's not a greater time at all than to be working on it every day right now. Uh, poorly managed diabetes connected with COVID has some pretty serious uh, complications. On the other hand, well-managed diabetes uh, with a COVID infection uh, is much less risk for the, the real serious complications that arise from it. So what would I tell you if you came in and said, what can I do? I would say more than ever, continue to stay physically active with your lifestyle. Make sure you're walking more, getting uh, more types of, uh, of exercise that, uh, that you can change up to make it work for you every day. Uh, work on maintaining healthier meal plans. Uh, work on making sure that you're eating the best possible nutritional plan you can come up with. And then above all, stay on your medication schedules because lower A1Cs and better management greatly reduce the risk of serious complications uh, with COVID. That's great advice. Thank you. Any last words that you want to leave for people before we, before we wrap this up? Well, I still go back to what I've always said is just make sure that uh, when we're talking to people with diabetes, that we empower them to manage their own diabetes in every aspect uh, that we have as they go throughout their life. And that's part of what we need to keep reminding ourselves and them of as well. Fantastic. Well, Jerry, as always, I look forward to talking to you again. Thank you again for having me.